No doubt about that. And Paul, with Liverpool, some bad news. Harvey Elliott looks to be out for about six weeks. We spoke a lot about it this summer where they didn't bring any key players in, but you felt that there was enough rotation and enough depth. Who can cover for him over the next six weeks? Listen, they've got more than enough. I mean, you look at the minutes that he's played at the start of the season, very few. Um, they've got a squad that's capable of putting out two 11s. Um, you look at the attacking players that they've got in those areas. I mean, Elliot was good because he's a versatile player. He can either play in the, the, the middle three, if you like, or the front three. He can replace the Salas of this world or he can play like the Gravenberg's role. But I think Gravenberg's come in and done really, really well. Listen, he's going to be a miss to the squad, but he's not going to be a miss to the starting 11. And I think, as I say, he, they've got a number of players in, in that area now. Obviously, that's what the managers felt as well. And I think that's one good thing with Liverpool when you look at them. I've been, I've, I've admired what Arnie Slot's done from afar. I think he's come in, he's not tried to reinvent the wheel. He said, look, this is how Jurgen Klopp beat Man United last year. I did it this very similar, maybe tweaked a couple of things. And he's not afraid to say that. And I think it's, he's been a very, very sensible approach with him. And I think the, the rotation of his players and the depth of his squad, I think they're going to be fine. I mean, I tipped him to, to, to finish third at the start of this season. And they're going to be there or thereabouts. I think they'll put in a challenge this year. For sure. And Pete, we know Liverpool were looking into midfielders this summer. Martin Zubamendi, obviously the biggest name. Could they try and go back in for him in January or that deal's dead for now? Yeah, I think that deal is pretty much dead in the water. Take a massive U-turn from the player now to say that he wants to move to Liverpool for any deal to happen. Um, we all know, obviously, Liverpool pursued his services pretty hard in the summer. At one point, they were pretty comfortable getting the deal done. And then uh, at the final hour, Zubimendi decided to stay at his hometown club, uh, Real Sociedad. I don't see his mind uh, changing anytime soon. So I don't see there's any possibility that maybe Liverpool could come back in for Zubimendi in January unless there's a massive U-turn from the player because they're not going to waste their time and try and pursue a player who, who doesn't want to move to Anfield. So I'm sure the recruitment team will be looking at other options in January if the right player does come available. I'm sure Richard Hughes and um, Michael Edwards will be looking to see if they can bring in that number six because as well as Graven Birch has done uh, in this role where not many people expected him to play as a number six, Liverpool are going to need a uh, sort of cover in those key positions because um, if they get any more injuries they like that they've had to Harvey Elliott, it's going to put a, a massive burden on those, uh, especially the midfield three who look like they've got they've got those three places nailed down right now in Birch, McAllister and uh, Sobislai. So, yeah, I'm sure the club are probably working to see if there is any players out there in January. But, yeah, I don't think Zuba Mendy's a goer anymore. For sure. And, Paul, they did bring in Chiesa towards the end of the window. It does look like Liverpool are still interested in some other wingers. Brian Embuemo is always a name that's thrown around. Carlos Huerta recently mentioned that his deal this summer collapsed uh, in the final minutes. Does bringing in another winger, whether it be in January or in the summer, to you rely on whether or not Mo Salah leaves? I don't think, well, I don't see it's a priority when you look at how well stocked they are in those areas. But it's obviously a position that they're looked at. Chiesa coming in was a great sign. I think the experience and the, the quality of that player comes in. Um, I think, you know, with Huerta, he's still very young. I think he was probably one for, for, for the future, potentially coming in. Um, spent all his career in Mexico, and I think he's one of these players who would be integrated slowly into the side and potentially sent out on loan before he got his opportunity. As, as we've seen with Liverpool, there's been no scattergun approach, there's been no rush to sign players. They, they'll sign the player if it's right, uh, and they'll only sign the right players for what they want, whether it be for now or the future. And uh, I don't see that changing anytime soon.